I am dealing with an illness every day. It's not just like, oh, Sundays I'm upset or Tuesdays are happy days. It's, it's really unpredictable and um, it's hard to, you can never tell what's going to happen. Like the smallest little things can just offset you. Um, I deal a lot with anxiety and depression as well and my teammates, um, they know that but it took me a while to warm up enough to explain to my team which, what was going on because it's hard to even identify something that you don't really understand what's going on with yourself. Um, it's, it's confusing. It's just really confusing and like some days you'll just have the greatest day and then all of a sudden it's like you just feel it like a lot of times when people think of depression and anxiety it's like constant sadness and this but for me that's not at all what it is it's like it's almost like you don't feel anything at sometimes like I'll be really really happy really excited and then all of a sudden it's just like whoa like your body just doesn't, you, you can feel yourself not feeling right and that's kind of how I would explain it, but it's a really hard situation to put into words. The first person I talked to was actually George Lucas. He's my goalkeeper coach. He's been coaching me for eight years and he's also my UNB goalkeeper coach. Um, and I like, I'm, very comfortable with George. He's like a father figure to me. And um, yeah, he's a little crazy, but that's fine. Um, so he actually arranged a little chat with me just um, at my house. And we just talked about, because he really understands, and he explained to me that he also dealt with things like this in the past when he was young in my shoes. Cause Goalkeeping is kind of a stressful job. You're kind of the last line of defense. And that's when I realized that like I wasn't alone. And that's really what helped me. When I told my team, when I told my coach, when I talked to George, it was like the hardest thing ever. It was just like, I knew that they were gonna support me, but it was just, I guess, cause it, it's you coming to a realization with yourself. Almost, it's not how other people react, it's, it's about me at that point, because I'm like, I'm the one putting the stress on myself about it. And I realized that, and I think that for me, it was just really hard to, at the beginning, just even talking about it, thinking about it, I was just so broken all the time. But now that I have accepted, I think, that's a big thing for me is accepting it. I accepted it at this point. I know, but I have like, I'm getting better and I'm trying to help others and others are helping me and I got the help I needed. And I think that that's the big difference between three, four months ago and now is just acceptance and feeling accepted with my peers, but also like accepting myself. Obviously, like every day is a struggle still, but I'm feeling better and I want other people who were probably in a state similar to how I was like to, to know that like everything's going to be okay at some point. Maybe not right now, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, who knows, but at some point everything will be okay and that's kind of how I think Bell Let's Talk is working, is trying to end the stigma, trying to end trying to make people with mental illness feel better and feel more accepted because there always has been a, a stigma with it. However, Bell Let's Talk is trying to end the stigma and that's just so inspiring, really. I guess I just wanna say thank you to everybody in my life who's helped me along the way and even just, I guess, just always make sure you're checking in on your friends because you never know who's struggling. And even the people that are the happiest, the smiliest, the strongest people, you know they could be struggling. So just always checking in on your friends, your family, even just a stranger on the street saying, how are you? Have a good day, something like that. It can change someone's day.